Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you, but after tonight, I got a mighty craving for visiting Tuscany, a land famous for its beautiful countryside, lots of wine. Uh, well, also known for its Leaning Tower of Pisa, which you know Ari took a picture in front of smoking like a bull, oh. right? <laughs> like, that was the first thing he did. I mean, he's a yeah. mad Shiba Hawk, we all know that, and so he got off the plate, he was like, dude, dude, check it out! Totally. A hundred percent. But I was gonna say, also a place that, as far, after tonight, as far as I'm concerned, is synonymous with bombshells, because holy mm. shit, we got an episode of Bachelor. Mm. I think he, Ari might have let that blunt lit a little too long, because it ended up burning the dreams <laughs> of about three women tonight. That's right. It just exploded in a big old dramatic week number seven. But, in case you did not know, we are two bros of break, where every week we bring down the who's what's if and or... Bless. Oh, nice. Flex of that Rosetta Stone well, again. Good for you. According to Siri, that's butts in Italian. <laughs> uh, bachelor, Bachelor Nation, so let's dive into week number seven. All right, so we did not have a rose ceremony this week, which means we got a lot of time with each of the girls. But let's start with the girls who got roses on their one-on-one -on -one dates, starting right. with Becca. That's right. So Becca is the first date of the evening where we are in Tuscany, and basically Ari's like, yo, I want to go on a date with you, but uh, I don't really have plans, so let's just chill. Yeah, seriously, Ari treated this date like a second semester senior treats their homework. Yeah. Like, total <laughs> procrastinator. Yeah. Had a whole flight from France to think about what he wants to yeah. do. And then decided to, like, sell it as, like, you know what? Let's just kind of go with the flow when really, like... Totally forgot to plan a date. Right, well, and they haven't had a date in forever, yeah. keep in mind. The yeah. last time they were on a date yeah, so was really, the first episode, basically. So really, he's had like six weeks to plan a second date and exactly. like, forgot about exactly. it. Exactly, well, and he even mentions the fact that, like, you know, uh, kind of, sort of forgot uh, what Beck is all about. Yeah, I no. mean, he doesn't say that exactly, but he's, he questions whether they have a spark right. left, yeah. right? It's like when you are, have a rough draft due two weeks after, you know, into a project, and yeah. then you have the real thing due six weeks later, yeah. and you're reading your rough draft, and you're like, what? What is yeah. this? <laughs> Seriously. And because this is The Bachelor, and apparently The Bachelor can do no wrong in the eyes of these women, uh, he gets commended by Becca being oh, like, yeah. oh, what a great date. Yeah. This is exactly what we'd be doing if we were a couple, which is Wrong for two reasons, right? Number one, not many couples get to go on dates to Tuscany, especially for their second one. And number two, you show up to a second date with no plan at all, probably not getting a third. Well, also, especially for Becca, apparently, because she's only gone on one vacation with a boyfriend. Meanwhile, she's yeah. been in a relationship for seven years before. Yeah. Apparently six years and 51 weeks were spent in Minneapolis. <laughs> only one week was spent in San Diego. Seriously, But this man. was also the date where we found out that Ari loves the tough questions. Mm -hmm. uh, tough questions such as... When you think about our hometown date, what are we doing? Right. Super end tough. of end of statement. Those are his tough questions. Yeah. I need. Mean, it sounds silly, but we're also grading on a curve here. We got we got to keep in mind that in Ari's mind, a tough question is like, what's sixty four divided by eight? Yeah. He's yeah like, exactly. Oh, uh, <laughs> let's see. I know the division sign is that curl with the line on top, but I, I don't know what to do after that. Well, speaking of having difficulties, let's move to Lauren B because apparently she has difficulty even yeah. saying a word. Yeah. He, Either that or they, like, forget mics every time she has a date. Yeah. And, and they're, she has not said one word uh, on any of the dates she's been on. She barely speaks. She barely does much of anything. She really doesn't contribute anything on the dates. I'm going to set the over-under at two and a half for total facial expressions she's made yeah. this entire season. And yet, despite that, Ari is, for some reason, completely captivated yeah. by her. So much so that at the end of their date, which she got a rose in, mm -hmm. uh, he even goes on to say, like, I'm really falling hard for this girl. <laughs> well, before he says that... He has to take a moment, gather himself, That's and right. go for a walk. That's really, right. really sink in, sink in with his thoughts. And I actually think that he's in Italy. He's uh, maybe be a little lactose intolerant. No. Uh, has had yeah. some cheese. Has had some marinara sauce. Yeah. Has had some bread. A lot of dairy. And uh, need to let one go before <laughs> before he really went into giving her a rose. That's, yeah, I, that's, that's my theory. That, that's a good theory, yeah. man. And I wouldn't put it past him to mistake gas for love, you know, and be like, yo, I'm really feeling something for this girl. <laughs> I can't explain it. I just have this, like, tightness yeah. in my chest. I, I think it's love. But the one thing I will say about this date is that uh, it really goes to show the fact that I don't think Ari has any idea what he's doing. No. Because when he leads off this date, he says to her, you know, Lauren, I really need you to be more open with me. And then when he gives her the rose, the very first thing that he says about why he's given her the rose is because of how open she is with him, which just completely contradicts itself and goes to show that he has no idea what he's doing. At the same time, it is confirming everything we've said about him going up to the season is that he has the memory of a goldfish, right? Yeah. Like, he just... 
his world is only exists for eight seconds at a time. Yeah. So if in that eight seconds she <laughs> opens up to him, guess what? She's the most open person on the planet. Absolutely. So in much of the same way that we had two roses handed out in the early parts of this episode, we had not one but two women exit the show before we even got to the group date tonight. Well, the first one left on her own volition, right? Right. That was Jacqueline. Yeah. She wasn't as confident as she wanted to be in her and Ari's relationship right. the week before hometown, so... She got up, she went and visited him at his hotel room and said, you know what, I feel like I should be more confident right now, and since I'm not, let's make out real quick, and then I gotta bounce. Which is worth noting. I mean, she handled the situation with lots of intelligence, uh, very rationally, mm. which is pretty opposite of what we normally see in The Bachelor. Fair. So, Tough I mean, it, yeah, exactly. So props to her for that. But one thing that really stood out with this is... It was kind of a shocker, but not for the reason that you might think, right? I mean, Ari looked like he was legitimately butthurt over it, <laughs> and and that was kind of a surprise. Well, I actually think I was more expecting him to be butthurt, so I'd be like, hey, who is she to reject me? Ugh. I thought he would be more bruised, but it actually seemed like he didn't want her to go. Yeah. Not just that he didn't want to be rejected. Yeah, But I, I mean, to kind of to build on your point about how like intelligent and rational she was, I want her to narrate my life because she is a superstar narrator, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, if we ever get famous enough, I'm talking about, like, if, the, if we're going at the same pace, subscriber pace as we're going right now, yeah. you know, about a thousand years from That's now. Right. If we're ever yeah. famous enough to where people care about us and they want a book to be written about us, yeah. I'm hiring Jacqueline. Yeah. Because I just want to hear her thoughts over the tape recorder as she follows us because she'll be like, oh, you know, Patrick reacted this way. And his body language suggested that. And I'll be like, God damn, how do you know? Seriously. She's so good and perspe perceptive about this kind of stuff. I did catch her casually dropping. Not as observational as Lauren B. That's right, yeah. But, you know, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I did catch her casually dropping precipice at like five minutes into the episode. So, yeah, probably <laughs> with her for yeah, that, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean if her. you're studying for the SATs while you're watching this, I mean, you got the word of the day right there. <laughs> I love how man. we're congratulating her for using a word like precipice. She's a PhD candidate. I think I think she's good with vocab. Hey, man, in The Bachelor, you know, I mean, that's that's, that's a big old word, yeah. right? Um, but I don't know what her PhD is. It, it could be in, like, cheese studies, but for all we know. <laughs> that's right. But she leaves the show without a husband, but... Probably a bright future ahead of her. Oh, but not totally empty-handed. Yep. Uh, if she goes to her DMs right now, she'll see a little message from yours truly inviting her on the show. So, <laughs> Jacqueline, if you're watching, you have an open invite to come on anytime. That's right. And that's the real award, right? That's what everybody that's what wants. Want. That's I what mean, everybody wants. Come on. Anyways, uh, we move on to the next date, which is with Cien, and unfortunately that doesn't go very well because she goes home too. Right? Yeah, and I think, so the idea of the date was that they were going to go truffle hunting yeah. and then they were going to go back to this cottage and cook a bunch of pastas and pizzas with a, a truffle flavoring in it and right. I gotta be honest, I don't really know much about truffles. I know uh, I know Zero. I didn't know that it was a fungus. Yeah. Uh, I think really the only thing I know is that it's a song, Truffle Butter, by right. Drake. Yes. And actually, now that I'm saying that, I'm pretty sure it's a Nicki Minaj song. So I know I don't even know you much know about truffle butter. Yeah, about I truffles. really don't know anything. Seriously, man. Uh, but you know, the one thing that stood out to me about this date is that. During the date, they talk about many of the same things that Becca and Ari talk about, that Lauren B and Ari talk yeah. about, about like, you know, are, are we really there yet, right? Can we really do this? And at the end of the date, while Becca and Lauren B got roses, Sienna apparently did not get a rose, and I don't know why. I mean, look, I'm, I'm not saying. Look, but... I hate to say it, but I think it's official. Ari's a racist. <laughs> it's the only explanation, really. I think that's her headline. You I know? think that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I mean, you know what? And I thought The Bachelor... A franchise that made so much progress last year with Rachel being the Bachelorette. And, yeah. And I, but I guess we still have so far to go. Well, what did Kenny and Lee even fight for, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously. <laughs> their hard work is just down the drain, yeah. and it's it's a real shame. Yeah, I mean, the Kenny and Lee two-on-one date, I think that's actually a, a stamp that's being released by the U.S. Postal Service <laughs> during Black History Month this year. Yeah. All right, finally, before we talk about the big drama in the group date, we got to put our hands up, we got to pat ourselves on the back, we got to toot our own horns, because <laughs> it turns out... Our theory for figuring out how Ari makes his decisions of basically picking whatever a reasonable level-headed person would do and then doing the opposite of that Born out to be true because he gave Kendall the first rose of the group date. That's right. That's why they call us capital E experts, man. Yeah, seriously. We, we know how this thing freaking works because you flip everything that yeah. you know about Bachelor and that's how you got Ari, All right? the conventional wisdom says pick Becca M. He's the most infatuated with yeah. her. He has the best time with her. And yet, the quite opposite turns out to be true. That's right. 
Becca M is the one that goes home. That's right. Kendall gets the rose, T gets the rose, and in a remarkable fashion, yeah. Becca goes home, which might, as far as I'm concerned, might be the only time in Bachelor history where the Bachelor actually sends home the person that he's most interested in. Because he knows that the relationship's not going to work. So props to Ari for actually, you know, going through with that. Yeah, but at the same time, like, nothing changed between that first one-on-one -on -one date where he find out, found out her age and now. And it didn't, it, in fact, it only seemed like he liked her more that, up until now. That's true, but we do have the added wrinkle of going to hometowns next week. And I feel like Ari just doesn't want to have to mm -hmm. deal with the whole age, you know, drama in front of her family. I don't mm -hmm. know if, I, you know, I, don't, I think he kind of chickened out as far as that goes. Maybe he didn't want to be the person to show up to her mom's doorstep with a found missing person. <laughs> like, maybe that's what Your he point. found out. He was like, you know what, I, I already kind of have a criminal record here yeah. with the sheer amount of cocaine that I do. <laughs> so I can't really be involved in any sort of of law enforcement. That's thing true. Right now. But the other the other side of this is Tia, right? Who yeah. kind of pulled a, a, a dick move earlier Seriously. by snitching on her little sister, right? That was so whack. I mean, when she said, I'm just playing the, the big sister role here, I was just like, how condescending. Yeah, I mean, seriously. And the fact that she, like, basically ratted her out and roasted her for wanting to, like, sleep in her own bed yeah. after being gone for two months or, like, wanting to see her friends when she hasn't had a cell phone for two months. It's like, yeah. that's a pretty reasonable thing to want Absolutely, at this point. Absolutely, man. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. In fact, if you don't feel that way, then something's wrong with yeah, you, right? Yeah, seriously. I, I, oh, she was going so petty that I was expecting her at the two-on-one dinner to raise a raise her glass and toast to being able to like rent a car. Yeah. <laughs> Something that she could do and totally. that Becca couldn't. Totally, man. And yet, at the end of this, we are going to Wiener, man. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I can't wait to make so many really good jokes. <laughs> but of course! Are you speaking parcel talk right now? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, man. You are not the only bilingual person around these parts. Okay. You know that? Uh, it would not be a two bros a brick recap without the two bros a brick stat of the night. All right, so we spent last segment really patting ourselves on the back, tooting our own horn, but you know what? Beep, beep. Now we gotta put our hands up and say our bad because uh, in our preview videos, we tasked ourselves with the uh, task of picking a final four. Yeah. We had eight opportunities to get it right. We only picked one correctly, and that was Tia. Which is a pretty bad percentage. Oh, I yeah. Think. oh yeah, man. That is a whopping 12.5% success rate for our picks this season. Yeah, we gotta put our hand up right now, and we gotta own it. We that got, was pretty bad. That's right, we gotta own that. So much for being capital E experts. <laughs> that's right. Let us know how much we suck in the comments below. <laughs> Please uh, don't open up that door. <laughs> but we will be sure to get back to you on that. We got a better success rate with the comments. Yeah. I'll say that much. Yeah. Uh, but until then, we will see you all next time. Adios, y'all.